Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to Fear the Moon. Yeah, this is a cryptid wolfman horror game. I've been really craving kind of like a classic, like, movie monster horror game for a long time. And now there's a wolfman game, and there's also a vampire game coming up. So yeah, very excited for these. Uh, the demo came out a little while ago. I didn't get a chance to play it because I was just absolutely booked. So we're going in this totally blind. That... Stop howling at me. Uh, a story-driven cryptid horror game featuring survival horror elements where you come face to face with a Midwest cryptid dubbed the Wolfman. We uh, play as Jane and fight to survive the full moon while uncovering dark secrets in the Wolfman's territory. Yeah, this is by Johnny's Games. Uh, they did Night Stop and Slide in the Woods. Both games I loved. So really look looking forward to this. And the dev sent me a key. Thanks so much. Really appreciate that. Cool. Uh, let's jump in. Boop. Uh, 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 uh. Damn, that wants me to make it dark, 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 dark. Shit. Here, I'll do right about here. How about that? So I don't want to make it too dark, then y'all can't see. Also, links in the description. You want to check it out. That dream again. Uh-oh. Uh, let me move. Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ah. There we go. Okay. That dream again. Well, I guess I should get up anyway. Cute. Love. I love a PlayStation. They don't make them like they used to. Okay. Oh, so we have an old school CRT, then a newer TV up here. Is that just to get like the true look of the PlayStation games? What games we got? That looks like Chrono Cross. There's the thing, DVD or VHS, and Alien. Yeah, that looks like maybe Legend of Dragoon and Final Fantasy Tactics. I don't know. There's Silent Hill. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to think that's Legend of Dragoon. Not sure what this one is, but that's definitely Silent Hill. All right. Pick up. Reset rotation. Oh, sick. That's very nice. Phone. Whoa. Okay. Check notifications. Oh, looks like Melissa called me. Guess I should call her back. Okay. And also, one more second. Let me fix something real quick. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Melissa called. Let's call her back. Oh, Melissa. Oh, weird. Hate that. <laughs> Don't really feel like going anywhere today. Yeah. I'm an absolute mess. Girl, you're invisible. Cute. They have a little Wacom tablet. Wacom. You say Wacom or Wacom. Nice day. Orange as fuck. <laughs> Alright. Let's call Melissa. Hey Jane, it's been a while. Yeah, it has. I hope you've been alright. Yeah, I've been great, actually. <laughs> Just busy. How about you? Doing alright. Not dead. That's good to hear. I was beginning to wonder. Can't get rid of me that easily. Hey, uh, I'm going to be back in town soon. We should hang out. Really? That'd be great. Yeah, Jack had an idea where we could go on a little camping trip this weekend. Like old times. Would you be interested? <laughs> yeah, that could be fun. Great! I'm so excited. I think James is coming too. Really? What's the occasion? It's a secret. Oh, come on. Nope. You'll have to wait. 
Fine, fine. Gonna sacrifice me to the wolf mana or something? Love cutscenes. Somewhere, Ohio. Oh, God. Horror game set in Ohio. That just ups the fear factor. Love it. Love. Love this character model. Huge jaw. Well, we're here. This is the campsite? Yeah. Nice, isn't it? I don't know. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, it's cool, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. At least we can have a fire. We used to hang out near near here forever ago. I guess you guys didn't come along. Well, we should start getting things set up before it gets dark. <laughs> okay, Jack. Or was that James? I think that was James. 6 p.m. Chapter 1, Reunion. I have to build my own tent. Where are the boys? Can they do it for me? <gasps> some brewskis. Hell yeah. And some wieners. Hot dogs. Okay, there we go. Had to fix something really quick. Uh, my graphics card updated, and so it fucked up all my recording settings. So hopefully, before this, everything is fine. Hey, I'm glad you ended up coming. Well, Melissa wouldn't really take no for an answer. But yeah, me too. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Do you need help with anything? Looks like we forgot to buy firewood on the way here. Uh, Melissa wouldn't be too happy about that. Yeah. There might still be some firewood left over inside a shack that's near here. You think you could gra go grab it? Sure. How do I get there? Oh, it's not far. Just follow the right path and you'll find it. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Cool. It's gonna get dark soon though. You should take this. Great. Thanks. Try not to get lost. Okay. So I got hot dogs and a lantern. Oh. See ya, dude. Where the fuck are you going? Sub, bruh. So what do you think of this place? It's cool, I guess. A bit eerie, though, isn't it? Ha, huh, yeah. That's part of the fun. I guess. Hey, don't worry. Where'd you pull that out of? If anything comes out to get us tonight, I got this baby with me. Thanks, Jack. That makes you feel a bit better. You know you can always count on me. Hey, sorry if this uh, didn't meet your expectations. I guess I should probably have chosen the location. No, it's fine. I'm just glad to see everyone again. Yeah, me too. It'll be fun to hang out once we get everything set up. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna go traipsing off in the woods. Can I leave? Can I just take the car and go? Nice animation. Needs a coward ending. Alright, they said take the right path. So I guess we'll go this way. Ooh, a sprint meter. Burb. Is that a raccoon? What's up, little <laughs> bandit? Ah! <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> no! I love you! Leave me alone! No! Bad raccoon! Ugh, evil dead shit. 
Speaking of the Evil Dead, apparently there's two things in the works for the Evil Dead. Oh, can't go back there. Uh, there's a movie with the original continuity. And then also a sequel to the 2013 one, I think? Hot dog. He's watching me. Fear the moon, they said the thing. I actually locked the shed on my way out. Whoops. I think the key should be somewhere in that abandoned vehicle on the cliff. Also, I think something might have died in there. This place reeks. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going out here. Oh, wait, no, I have to go... Wait, hold on. E something B? Huh. Okay, so I think I need to go to the car on the cliff to get into the shack. Or like the storage area. But there's like this whole thing back here. I can't... Oh, hi. I can see my feet. Okay, I know the writing. I got some some peepers peeping at me. Cute. Alright, let's go look for that car. Yeah, I really liked Evil Dead Rise. Oh, there's that. Let's keep looking. Uh I liked Evil Dead Rise a lot. I liked the show. Uh, I watched season one of the show. Damn, this big house. Hi, James. Creepy, isn't it? Oh, James, you scared me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? The house. You can see it from here. Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. Oh, yeah, I guess it's pretty creepy. Anyway, it's getting dark soon. Uh, be sure not to get lost out here. Fuck off. Yoink. Screwdriver. James? James. Where'd you go, dickhead? Damn. Oh, this is the cliff they were talking about. Got it. Oh, there he goes. He's just walking away. Looks like there's something down by this tree. Looks like a cage. What's it doing all the way out here? Oh, water bottles and shit. Got it. Uh, there's the campsite bird there's that raccoon you're gonna chase me again an outhouse great ew it smells like shit <laughs> it said they stalk the woods at night forever starving forever in pain aching to fill their empty stomachs to feast on meat and organs. And once you hear their scratches echoing through the trees, it's already too late. Let's see our little friend again, then we'll go to the shack. Hey, buddy. Ah! <laughs> so protective of your trash. What a little cutie. Love him. No, I thought that was something. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, 
Ew, it smells like shit. Yeah, dead bird. Uh, can't do anything with that. Is there anything else in here I can click? I guess not. Alright. It's gone pretty dark. I should head back. Wow. I saw him! Come back, sexy wolf man! Come back! I'm your little kitten. You, will you protect me? I'll protect you, kitten. No matter what. Jesus. Hello? <gasps> I see you. Oh shit, he gets he gets closer when I don't look. And the raccoon's gone. Hey, you can see his little beady eyes back there. That's 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 a really good touch. Like that you can actually see him. Hi guys! I met a man in the forest. We're in love. Hey, are you okay? Looks like you saw a ghost. I <laughs> just wasn't a ghost. I heard something weird in the woods. Oh? What did it sound like? I don't know, like a wolf or something. Huh, that's strange. There shouldn't be any wolves around here. Maybe it was the wolf man. Come on now, Jack. Don't be ridiculous. What? He could be real. You know the stories too. Yeah, I do. It's made up. What's the wolf man? Just a bit of an urban legend around here. I swear I saw him in the woods one time, after a party. How many drinks did you have that night? <laughs> I don't know. A few. Uh-huh. I really did see something though. It was tall and had these bright yellow eyes. Is that why you chose this place, Jack? Maybe. I can't believe you. I'm sure it's probably nothing. Just freaked me out a bit is all. Can we get this fire started now? It's getting cold out here. Yeah, I'm ready to relax. Fine, fine. I'll get us started. Love. I love little cinematics like this. It'd be cool if you could see, like, the wolfman somewhere, like, out in the shadow. I thought he was about to attack. I was like, damn, that's brazen. 9 p.m. Jesus. What are you looking at? Huh? Oh, sorry. Should say it's a full moon out tonight. So it is. Sure is pretty, huh? Yeah. Well, when you're done admiring it, come get your food. It's getting cold. Okay, cool. Thanks. So, can I adjust the brightness again? Also, FOV. Ooh, I can increase that. Nice. Uh, graphics? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think I can adjust the brightness. I was gonna see if I could turn that down a little bit. So it's like washing out the moon. All right. Hey, this looks nice. Oh, need a bowl first. Uh, where, wait, where'd my hot dogs go? Not really my thing. Girl, if you don't take a fat rip right now. I should fill my bowl my food bowl first, got it. Uh boop. 
delicious. Looks like a beef stew. Jane, what's up? Hey, James. Nice night, huh? Yeah, it's quiet out here. It is. Just nice to get away from everything, you know? Relaxing. Hey, want a drink? I feel like we're supposed to be like the final girl. And the final girls never do shit like that. I'm good for now, thanks. All right. Can't talk to these fools. All right. And then, is there a wolf man peeping? No? Okay. Gross lerp noises. <laughs> Delicious. Jesus. He's coming like straight up to us. Uh, how do I... Look at my boobs. Damn. So. You guys want to hear the legend of the Wolfman? Oh great, this again. Hey, I know I can be obsessed with cryptid stuff sometimes, but this is this one's really creepy. Creepy. Creepy? Creepy. Okay, sure. What is the Wolfman? Okay, so it's an urban legend out here about the man that used, used to own this property. There we go. That said, used, used his own property. Like what? Uh, he disappeared a long time ago, and there's stories that he never actually left and instead turned into a wolf man that lurks the woods, attacking and eating animals and even humans. Ugh, that sounds silly. Actually, it's more twisted than that. You see him? He had a sort of animal sanctuary out here with lots of dogs he would take in and, uh, take in and take care of. And he lived, uh, completely alone, aside from the animals. So when he disappeared, no one knew he was gone for a long time. When someone finally came out to check on him, they found something truly terrible inside the house. All the animals had starved to death, locked inside rooms and cages, scratches and blood all over the walls and doors. Oh my god, that's awful. Yeah, that's not even the worst part. They say some of the animals had even started eating each other. But really, it's just stories uh, told to try and keep kids from coming out here and underage drinking. Plus with all the parties that used to happen out here. Stories were bound to be made up from uh, the people, or from the things people heard. Wait, what? Okay. Stories were bound to be made up from the things people thought they saw or heard. There's even been a few missing persons out here. Yeah. That's really why people don't come out here anymore. Cops really started cracking down on the place after that. A lot of, like, noises out in the woods. So, why are we out here? For old time's sake. Plus, all the danger makes it more exciting. You wouldn't want to hang out at a, any old campground, would you? It's okay. The most dangerous thing out here is deer or bobcats. Ugh, that crunching sound. Oh, and Jack here. Dangerously handsome, maybe. Looking around for him. 10 p.m. Oh, guess he needs to stand up. Uh, it's been nice catching up. I think I'm gonna head to sleep. Yeah, same. Today has me beat. Wait, before you guys go, Jack and I have something to tell you. Oh, what is it? Well, I guess I'll just say it. We're getting married. Oh, that's, uh, cool. Yep, finally decided to tie the knot. 
Wow, I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, what? That poor chair. You guys go ahead. Jack and I are going to hang out a little bit longer, I think. That chair is not made for that kind of weight. <laughs> okay, I don't see any wolf mangs. I don't have my lantern anymore either. Hi, James. You can take the tent. I'll be sleeping in the van. Okay. Do it. It'll help you sleep. Yeah, I don't see any wolf mans. All right. I guess we're going to sleep. Z z z z z. Really, just want to see that that chair just like fold in half, like sneaking off to go bang out in the woods. Who's fucking in my shed? Twelve AM, damn. Two hour time skip. Here we go. Did I just hear a scream? It sounded like it came from that old shack. I should make sure everyone's okay. Go ahead and take that. Uh put you on quick select. Actually, I'll just stay here and wait. <laughs> Seems empty. I wonder where James went. Oh, and the door's locked. Shit. So I can't get away until I get the key. Really good fog in this. Sometimes I play games with fog in it, and it's just like, I don't know, like a flat image that you can just walk through. This actually seems like volumetric. It has body yadi yadi to it. In the sound design of like the things just like just out of sight, like up on the ridge, that's really good work. Damn. Damn. Jane. What happened here? I don't know. Me and Jack were just out here messing around and something attacked us. It all happened so fast. I couldn't really tell what was happening. But I think Jack is hurt. Like, really hurt. Thing is, it was so big and fast. It just picked him up and took him away like it was nothing. I think we have to get out of here. I don't know if we can help him. At least not on our own. Okay, okay, we should get help. Yes, we need to get to the van. But Jack had the keys. I think he dropped them in here somewhere. We have to find them. Yoink. Put you on two. I can actually see her ready the bat. Cute. Okay, not in the stinky part. Ow. Here they are. Hey, I found the van keys. Let's get out of here. Thank God. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Jack? Is that you? Are you alive? Oh shit! I have to get out of here. Girl, you are fucked.
Yeah, there's like always like something rustling and breaking twigs and shit. Just just along this line. Where did James go? Is he the wolfman? Yeah, I need to calm my nerves. <laughs> Okay, uh... Okay, he's just carrying me off. About to make my wildest dreams come true. My night with the wolf man. <laughs> so he carries me off to his little to his little house. So I wonder like if he just keeps us here and like eats us whenever he gets hungry. Hey, he put me in a cage. What a dickhead. Should've put me in his boudoir. Oh, my head hurts. I feel so... strange. Like something's under my skin. Wait, is he transforming us- transforming us into wolfmen? What'd that thing do to me? Wait, why can I unlock it? Chapter 2, Alone. Melissa's backpack. Damn, this is a nice render of a backpack. Looks like Melissa's backpack. I just tried to find her. I can carry more items! Sick. Save progress? Hell yeah. I can store things inside here. Sick. Alright, let's start looking around. Exit safe room. So, okay. So I can come back here whenever... I need to, like, hide or save. The kennels. Oh no. That's where the dogs all starved and shit. Cute. Creepy picture of trees. Nice. More creepy tree pictures. So, okay, so I can hide under a table. Got it. Call marks. Is that a train? Is Wolfman running a train on him? Wolfman's house. Page one. Uh, it was their sophomore year of high school, and Toby had finally convinced Michael to come with him to the Wolfman's house. He wanted to go all summer after hearing about the ghost dogs that haunted the property. The house was chained shut on every entrance, so Toby brought some bolt cutters. They managed to get into the basement. Upon entering, they found uh, strange stone artifacts, old books, and even an old sword. The artifact seemed to be inscribed with something, but not in a language either of them knew. Some old books. Okay. Drawer seems stuck. Okay, so I gotta find something to pry that open with. Hmm. I'll go this way. Bathroom. <laughs> it's not real. I wish. I wonder who wrote this. 
No need for that. I wonder if this even works. Ah, spooky skeleton! Toby. Okay, now I quick select this. A sturdy pocket knife. I wonder if I can pry open that drawer with that. Oh, there's something like really scary is gonna be in that. Here we go. Gold key, got it. I wonder if I need the key for this door. Yep. One time use, I guess. Fuck this. Looks like a standing mirror. I wonder why it's covered. It's just a mirror. I wonder if the wolfman doesn't like the mirror. A lockpick. Sick. Just some old books. Seems like something is leaning against the door. <laughs> Shit! Is that Melissa? She's... dead. I can't believe this is happening. I need to get the fuck out of here. Yoink. Let's put you on one. Oh, it needs batteries. Fuck. So, I have a pocket knife and a flashlight. Hmm. Hmm. Can I hide under the bed? Another gross bed. Okay, so the only place I can hide is in the room that's right over there. It smells strange. I can see bugs crawling around it, or cra crawling around on it. <gasps> Very clever. Uh, some items can be combined with others by dragging the correct items onto its target. Got it. Uh. Well, let me drag. Do I need to... There we go. So I have to take it off the quick select thing. Got it. Damn. Bright as fuck. Dog bowl. Let's go ahead and go save really quick. Uh, don't need to store anything yet. All right. Now we can see down here. Ugh. Nope. Angry puppy. Hello? Yeah, I can't go in there. Little shoe rack, that's adorable. He's like, no shoes in the house. <laughs> Looks like I won't be getting out this way. Uh, 
really bloody door. Hmm. Hello? Is anyone there? I need help. Hello? Is someone in there? Sounds like someone might be stuck inside. I try to find a way in. Okay. Can't tell if those James or locked. Okay. James or Jack. Okay, so red plus blue plus green. It's locked by a padlock. I can't open it. So there's got to be a number inside those doors. This thing seems to work. Okay. So I can wash something off with that. Okay, so got to figure out what this is. Probably unlocks the door. Looks like it's locked by some kind of security system. Oh, okay, so whatever's in there unlocks this door. Got it. Creepy. Seems like I should... Whoa. Here we go. Wolfman's house, page two. Toby brought some equipment with him to help hunt for the ghost dogs, including a spirit box thought to allow the dead to communicate with the living and an EMF reader believed to detect the presence of ghosts. Toby couldn't have been more enthused as he held the EMF reader inside each cage, watching it rocket up to its highest level, five. Watching sent chills down Michael's spine, but he wrote it off as bad wiring in the dilapidated house. Still, though, the house gave him such an unsettling feeling, especially the strange noises he kept hearing coming from uh, the empty rooms. I can't get it open. It's locked. Can't pick a lock with this. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor puppy. Looks like something might be inside whatever that disgusting stuff is. I could probably find something to grab it out of here with. Okay, so I gotta find some tongs or something. Um... Alright, so I gotta find something to grab it with. guy. Door seems stuck. So things get stuck. I can probably open with the knife. Green key. Sick. 1224. Okay, let me write this down. Uh, G9. Got it. A glove. I can't pull it off my hands. It's fastened to the wall. Okay, so I need to find like a screwdriver or something. It's always listening. Be careful. It hates loud noises. Got it. Oh no! <laughs> the wood seems thin. I could probably break it with something. Okay. Um...
There we go. So I put on a glo- Ew. I put on a glove. Dirty lockpick. Let's go wash this off. I love that works. I love that. Hey, um, let's go save really quick. Yeah, because I don't know when the wolf is going to start coming out and fucking with me. Thought I heard something. Yeah, I know when the wolf the the wolf I'll know when the wolf is gonna come out and start being an asshole. So I wanna make sure I'm saving pretty frequently. Sick. Especially each time I pick up an item. I'm expecting it to just pop out and be a dick. Can't do that right now. What? It's a safe room. Stupid. Ugh, fuck. Ugh, ugh. I can't turn off the flashlight either. Hope that, hopefully that won't get me away. Okay, he's stomping off. <laughs> Damn, he's shaking the entire house. Fatty. Go and save again. It sounds like I make less noise when I crouch as well. Oh, sick. The flashlight still works. Even when I have the hammer on. Love that. Okay. Really good interactions with the items and stuff too. The dev did, the dev did a really good job with this. So it's green is nine. We're about to find out what the red door is. Seven. I'm going to write this down. Red equals seven. Got it. So I can probably smash these two. Uh, Wolfman House, page three. The spirit box had been going off intermittently while they were there, but nothing too conclusive was said from it. Toby sat it next to the upstairs door while he unsuccessfully tried to pry it open. Then, a distant crash was heard from upstairs, followed by snarls. Some sort of animal? The spirit box seemed to react to its presence immediately. First, it went silent, and then it started screaming, as if in multiple voices. Run, run, run. The moon swallows you whole. Then cutting, off, or then cutting to loud, high-pitched static, causing them both to cover their ears. The creature above roared. Okay, so Wolfman doesn't like high-pitched noises. Got it. Blue key. Sick. Uh, mechanism looks like it's missing a piece. Uh... Ah, fuck! 
Damn it. I got stuck in the the looking at the whole thing. Consumed. Damn. Damn, that got me. Yeah, whenever I smacked the boards, I got stuck in the looking at the thing. Also, it looked like there was a ghost back there. All oh, right, I need to go back and get the key. Yeah, it looked like there was a ghost dog or wolf back there. Cause it vanished when I looked at it. Yeah, let's go back here and get it, and then I'll try smacking the boards and just running away again. I'll probably go save before I do that, though. Just so I'm not having to redo this in case I get eaten by the wolf again. Big boy. Let's get the note, just so I can keep up with completion. Yoink. Let's go save really quick. This is really good. I'm very impressed. I liked all the other games that the dev has made. And this just really shows that they've come a long way. Alright, I'm just going to smack it and run. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> and then like these weird like yellow things appear around the screen. And she said that it felt like something is under her skin. So I wonder if when it bit me, it infected me with something, and whenever it's close, it reacts. Does that make sense? Like what if I'm gonna turn into a wolf man? A wolf lady. Okay. So when that sound happens, it's gone back up into something. So let's go see what was back in that hole. Oh, looks like some sort of lever. It's too far to me to grab my hands. Okay, so I gotta find something to pull that closer with. Got it. I'll probably find that in the blue room. Or in the chest. Okay, thought I saw something. Ooh, blue is five. Okay. Blue five. Got it. Let's go open that chest really quick. See what's in there. So we got red, blue, green. Red is seven. Blue was five. Green was nine. Cane handle. Huh. I wonder if I need to find the rest of the cane. Because I doubt... Yeah, not long enough to reach. Okay, so I gotta find the actual body for it. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't work.
I want to give the wolfman a big thwack. Let's call this cable. So there's a code. Okay. Locked. Fuck. Ooh. Love that. I can't pull it off my hands. It's fastened to the wall, so I need to find a screwdriver. Ew. I wonder if that's where he goes off into whenever he's not chasing me. Okay, let's open up all these. Safe room key, sick. Must be a safe room up here somewhere. No water comes out. It doesn't light. The drawer seems stuck. <gasps> Another lockpick. I am full of items, fuck. Wolfman's house, page four. It pulled Michael from under the table. He screamed, but the sound was cut off by his thro as his throat was ripped out. His body went limp. Toby witnessed the whole thing. The creature began eating him on the floor. Toby used it as a chance to get away. The entrance they used seemed to have been locked somehow. He tried to open it quickly, or quietly, but it wouldn't budge an inch. Panicked, Toby tried to get as far from the thing as possible. He found himself in a bathroom. A distant growl was heard, followed by footsteps. Toby jumped into the bathtub. Oh, this is how we got the knife. The skeleton in the bathtub is Toby. And closed the curtains. The creature entered, bashing on the door. Then, silence. Much time went by. Toby opened the curtain slightly, but there it was, standing there, concealing its presence. It roared and grabbed Toby by his leg, tearing the muscle from it with its sharp teeth. It tore his stomach open, uh, as if going for the best meat first. Toby laid there, wishing for death, but it never seemed to come. The creature wanted him alive. It wanted him fresh. Collect the pages, uh, all the pages from the Wolfman's house. Oh, damn. He won't fit. Lockpick. There we go. What? I'll check that out in a second. What's this? Door's jammed somehow. It won't budge. Okay. He won't fit. Got it. Also, can I open these top cabinets? No. Oh, here it is. Good puppy. Stay there. Storage. Um. I guess I'll put the cane handle up for now. Oh! Rude. Was that Toby? He's like, my knife. Give me back my knife. Huh. What am I doing with this? Oh. Max. Max had a taste for blood and an impossibly strong bite. Uh, he lived far away from the other dogs and attacked anything on sight. Then one day, a raccoon found its way inside. It didn't stand a chance as Max wrapped its mouth around its neck, ferociously shaking it and tearing it to shreds. 
There was one thing that would release Max's death grip, offering him a fresh bone to bite on instead. Left foot. Oh, it looks like that's in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm like... Right outside, huh? Oh, he took the cane handle from me. Got it. Oh, shit. Right femur. Here, let's place bone. There you go. Five bones still missing. All right. Uh, that is the laundry room. Let's do it. Ugh. Okay, what if I can find another one just by sheer happenstance, like walking around? Hey! Shoulder. Sorry. Every time I record the group chat that I have for the flat, everybody goes nuts. Okay, now I'm full. So let's go back upstairs, place these bones. Yeah, I've gotten three more. I hate that wall. Freaks me out. There we go. Uh, two bones missing. Got it. Okay, so right humorous. Okay, so this is probably the room that we started in. So there's just a lone chair somewhere. Let's see. Okay, it's not in here. This is not in here. I thought this was I thought it was the room that we started out in. Where do I see the the lone chair at? And what does that sound? Like it sounds like an like a like a generator? Hey buddy, can I borrow your bones? Why is this covered? I wonder if eventually I'll have like a wolf snout. some of your bones I'm looking for like just a lone chair I wonder if it's upstairs hmm I thought it was in the room that we started out in oh it could be in the red room
Here we go. Yoink. Nope. Here we go. Rattling ass chains. And a lone chair. Could be upstairs. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. Oh, hide, please, hide, please. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you fucking dickhead. Damn it. All right, let me get back to where I was. Son of a bitch. So we, as soon as I picked up that, what triggers that is the foot. As soon as I picked up the foot from that bucket in the red room, it triggers that event. So luckily I was able to approach it from a better angle. I was going down the hallway rather than turning that corner and having to run through the, the laboratory or whatever room that was. But fuck, that was really close. Like, he was right on my ass. And he fucked up the door. At least now I can just walk in, I guess. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go place all these bones. So let me figure out where... this last room is. The last bone. Uh, ugh. Ugh. Okay. Boop. 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 Okay. Yeah, there's just a random chair. Oh, two chairs. Alright, um, save again really quick, because there's a door I can probably bust open right there. Not sure where I'd, I'd, I'm gonna have... I'm not sure where I can hide, though, if I do that. I think what I was supposed to do is probably bust that open, then run all the way back here. I think he's right. I think he's above me. Shit. Oh no, my stamina. Stomping, shaking the entire house. Huh. Wolfman, just be my boyfriend. Stop killing me.
Let's go ahead and save. Ugh, I'm saving so often. Because having to redo puzzles and stuff always just grinds my gears. Really irks me. Okay, but I think by breaking open those boards, it caused the wolfman to bust through one of the doors. Ugh. Holes in ceilings and floors and stuff like that freak me out, especially in horror games. Yeah, he busted this open. Yoink. There you go. Um. Good boy. Good boy, Max. Thank you. What? 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 No! Fuck off! Son of a bitch. Damn. He's just <laughs> just eating me out. <laughs> so he comes through the kitchen. Now I know that. It's sad that I can't run into the safe room. Oh, let's go ahead and get you as well. Get all my items back. Oh, right. I need to go get this. Uh, yoink. I wonder if I can hide by behind that curtain or something. Nope. That don't work. The TV flashed something. I even turned the flashlight off so he wouldn't see me. I keep forgetting. I gotta... Get this bone. Go and save, just so I don't have to do that again. Save, I keep forgetting. Okay. It's coming. He's totally gonna get me. Maybe not. Slowpoke? Oh fuck, my stamina. Tickle, tickle! Fuck. Maybe there'll be like a enemies to lovers <laughs> twist or something. <laughs> Fuck. Scares the shit out of me every time he every time he pops up. Okay, waiting for that sound. There we go. Uh let's go. Back to the safe room. Let's save. Well, first let's... Wait. Let's go. What? What? I'm in the safe room. I'm in the safe room. You better not... Can't call it a safe room if he can kill me in it. 
Okay, so he's fucking off. Okay, so we have the cane. Damn, he's getting aggressive. No! There we go. I wonder if I need to start being stealthy. Like... Cr like... Crawling everywhere. Or crouching, rather than... Walking or sprinting. Because before, I didn't really care. It was like scripted encounters, but now he might just be actively... Listening for me. Hi! Cute. Okay. Destroyed the cane, I guess. <gasps> James? No, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Jane, is that you? Jane, or James. Thank God you're alive. Same for you. I thought I was the only one left. I think it's just us. The Wolfman got Melissa and Jack. What? Melissa too? It wasn't supposed to be like this. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Look, we need to get out of here. Yeah, I, I've been, wait. I think that was the wrong voice. Oops. It was, look, we need to get out of here. And the, and the voice I gave Jane. Yeah, I've been trying. This place is like a prison. Tell, that's weird. I, maybe not. Because he's like he's responding to me, but I'm not saying anything yet. Tell me about it. I think there's some sort of security mechanism locking some of the doors. That's how I got trapped in here. We'll need to turn it off somehow. Okay, I'll try. But will you be okay in there? Yeah, I'll be fine. I haven't found a way in yet. How'd you get in there? By, by the way, are you feeling alright? You look a bit strange. I don't know. Strange? Strange how? Not sure, just something about your eyes. Forget it. It was probably just the light. Please has me feeling crazy. Yeah, me too. Oh, hey, before you go, you should take this. Might come in handy for you. Sick. Thanks, that's just what I needed. So, I want to go look in the mirror. Real quick. First, I'm going to save. Got to save, like, every two seconds. <laughs> but there's a covered mirror in that bedroom that I keep looking at. So I want to see if her reflection is changing slowly. Is there going to be, like, a wolfman fight? Like, I'm going to transform and beat the shit out of him? Uh, so far, we see them the same. Alright. I'm really curious if eventually we're going to turn into Wolf Mommy. So there's a vent um, in the laundry room. And then there was a vent, I think, upstairs somewhere? There's, oh wait, no, the vent was back there. First, let's try this one. Oh, oops, hold on. Let's put you, boop, there we go. Prone is Z, huh. Oh, it's... Like, puts me on my belly. Got it. And every game, every horror game, needs a vent sequence, and it needs a bathroom sequence.
Hmm, fuck. Oh, I know where we are. Um, code. Hmm. Caged prey. On a farm, there was a barn cat. In the first, in the day, it would hide from the dogs. In the night, it would hunt for rats. It loved to break their legs and watch them struggle, making them think they could escape before eating them whole. But one day, the cat grew bored and saw birds by the road. And so that day, it decided to hunt for crows. It snuck real close and waited for its time to strike. And when the time finally came, it lunged on its prey and it died. But what the cat didn't see was the incoming car. The car was too fast, so the cat couldn't get very far. Uh, the car hit the brakes, but it was too late. The cat was gone from hunting its prey. There's a place for me to hide here. Looks like a dead crow. Move that out of the way. Let's go save. I think I already fucked up the puzzle. That note was giving me a hint. Okay. So, cat, rats. No. It was notes. It was a cat and it hid from the dogs, ate the rats. Got it. Okay. So, cat, dog, rats, crow. Code is 5714. Got it. Wrote that down just in case I don't get to keep it. I made a very loud sound. But he didn't respond. I wonder if this is going to... When I walk through, I wonder if that's going to trigger a chase. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, I'm fucked. Oh, maybe not. I knew... I called it too, said it was going to trigger a chase. It sure did. No! Yeah, we're in for him to fuck off. Before we continue, let me stand up and stretch really quick and go pee. I've been getting the, the pee shakes. You know, when you hold it for a little bit and you're like, Ugh. yeah, one sec. Okay. I am back. Now that I've triggered that chase. Save. He likes to appear in this hallway a lot. Here we go. Yeah, so it's going to take me back to this room and I can put that code in. Hi. Fuck, if I put the code in, is he going to come in there and kill him? Okay, it was 5714. Okay, put the code in. Did it work? Yeah, I think we should get out of I think we should be able to get out of here now. Okay, let's go. The wolfman could come in at any second. Yeah, I'll meet you in the basement entrance. Be careful. You too. Don't let it hear you. Oh, that was easy. Wait. 
Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. I'm I'm like nervous to go around the corner. Let's go save up here really quick. Ugh, fuck that door. So I haven't gotten in there yet either. Because I feel like once I go downstairs, it's going to trigger something. I don't want to risk dying. Was there a vent in here or anything? No. Okay. All right. Fuck, dude. How'd you get down there so fast? Chapter 3, Acceptance. Hey, I know things are rough, but it's going to be okay. We can get out of this. I don't deserve to make it out of this. What? Why did you say that? Look, Jane, there's something I haven't been telling you. It wasn't Jack's idea to come here. It was mine. What? What do you mean? I knew the Wolfman's real. Well, I knew it was more than just stories anyways. What? How would you know something like that? Well, you know already. My dad's a cop, and people really did go missing out here. But that's not the full story. He told me they found one of the bodies. They were completely mutilated. In a way no animal out here could have done. Not even a man. There was a big hunt looking for whatever could have done it. They thought it could be a bear or something. But they didn't find a thing. My dad always warned me never to come out here like after that. He believed something was out here. I knew the stories. I knew it would be a full moon tonight. So I told him all right, so I told him we should come here. And you know Jack, he's always been obsessed with cryptids. So of course he jumped at the jumped on the idea. The thing is supposed to be territorial, so when it got late, I told him about the shack, convinced him it was a good idea. I watched from the woods as the thing broke in and pulled him out. I heard him screaming. After that, I knew things were going going too far, so I ran after him, but when I found him, he was dead. The creature had already eaten away most of him. I started to run, but it caught me. I screamed tried to get away, but it just knocked me unconscious. I guess it wasn't hungry for me yet. Why would you do this? They're our friends. Because I hate him. I've always hated him. Him and his perfect life, and how he always rubbed it in our faces. Like getting married to the perfect girl. He dragged us all the way out here just to tell us that. She should have been mine. I just, want, I just wanted their perfect night to get ruined. I wanted him to hurt. Look, I know I fucked up, but I really didn't mean for it to end up like this. Can you ever forgive me? You're pathetic. James, honestly, I can't believe this. You're pathetic. Yeah, I know. I deserve that. I just hope somehow I can redeem myself. What a little bitch. I wonder if there's different endings. Oh. Put you up. Um, can probably put the screwdriver up. Hold on to it for now. Damn, am I getting, like, elongated? 
Am I getting bigger? I'm supposed to aim this. Unstoppable. Oh, the weapon. An unstoppable beast. The insatiable bloodlust. It will tear out every piece of you until there's nothing left. A sword to kill it hidden in the dark. Use the moonlight to show you the way. Stab the beast through its heart to free you from its torment and pain. Okay. Um. Look, I know you don't like me much right now, but we're going to need to work together to get out of this. I found Jack's bat. I'll try to use it to fight. You should find something too. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, so... I get the light in here somehow. There we go. So I gotta bounce it around all these different pictures, all these different mirrors. Okay, so I probably need to rotate this one a little bit more. I heard the double the double boop sound, so I was hoping that was it. Oh, sick! Silver sword. Sword of a silver and steel blade. The pommel's gemstone glows when held up in my hands. Alright, I got a weapon. Better than your fucking bat. Are you sure you're ready to go? We need to be prepared. No, not yet. Let's go save. Um, and I'll put... The screwdriver and a pocket knife up, just in case I get more items in there. This might be like the final thing though. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Sick. Buddy. I'm gonna break your face, motherfucker. Damn. Well, that went great. That went, that went fucking smooth as silk. <sighs> yeah, hold right click, then hold mouse. And then she releases like a little, huh, huh, got it. Okay, I got this time.
Let's get the hell out of here. Break your face, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, die, you motherfucker. James, we did it. Fuck. Ugh, James? I guess I'm the only one left. Vomits. It's yellow in color and almost glowing. Some strange chunks present in this view. It feels as though claws digging into your chest since you woke up, finally released, and you can breathe again. I need to get help. Say the Wolfman. Be the last remaining survivor. Fear the moon. Is he gonna... I don't want to hit fast forward or anything. That was good. That was very, very, very good. That was a train passing sound. The do do doof do doof do doof do doof. Yeah, the wolf mail is great. I thought for sure that she was gonna transform. She's still walking off back there. Alright. I'm really curious if there's other endings. Like, can I get... Like, can I have James survive or something? Aw, oh, buddy. I think he's just dead. Also, where... Where my face is? Cute. Oh my god. Oh, hey, little guy. He seems friendly. I guess it's used to people giving it food out here. Maybe I can find something to give it back at the camp. Here you go. Hot dogs. <gasps> Happy raccoon noises! Enjoy it, buddy. Oh, yeah! Best game ever. So, I was looking at the achievements. And feeding the raccoon was one of them. So, got that. And then, there's one called Enter the Outhouse. The Wolfman... Big boy! Cute. Yeah, so there's that achievement. Uh, now I'll need to go back to chapter 3. Or chapter 2. Which luckily, you can start a new game. Uh, and it lets you pick either the prologue, chapter 1, or chapter 2. So yeah. There's one more... Thing I need to try. I'll cut to that. All right, let's try this. Bring it, bitch. Bonk. Yeah, nose breaker. So, I think that might be, I'm missing one more achievement. I wonder what the hidden achievement is. Okay, hey everybody. I played through the game again. I think if I say I forgive him, 
me go save. Just in case. I think if I say I forgive him, I can get a different ending. Which, like, forgiving him is fucking stupid. He, like, admits that he wanted to hurt his friend. That's because he was having a good life, I guess. Okay. Can you forgive me? Uh, maybe I can. Look, I don't believe you wanted to wanted it to go this far, but it did, and we can't change that now. I don't know if I can forgive you, but right now we just need to focus on getting out of here. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I won't let you down, I promise. Okay, now... Oh. Let me do this puzzle, and then we'll go kill the wolfman again. Uh, and hopefully, maybe I just need to run up and stab him before James gets gored. Absolutely just eviscerated. So, I ran up as fast as I could. Yeah, die, you motherfucker. <gasps> did, did we do it? Yeah, I think we did. Are you okay? I don't know. That thing cut me up pretty good. We did it! Vomits. Okay, I feel a bit better now, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yellow in color and almost glowing. Uh, some strange chunks present in this view. It feels as though the claws digging into your chest since you woke up finally released. And you can breathe again. Yeah, me too, actually. I can't believe we actually killed it. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Uh, I, we should go find help. <laughs> there we go. So that is both endings, all achievements for Fear the Moon. Fucking good shit. I had to replay the game, which I didn't mind. I, I liked it a lot. Uh, Johnny, great job. Fantastic work. I really, really enjoyed this. There should be a romance ending. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, jeezy crazy. That was good. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Uh, the puzzles were really good. The it had me like actually nervous quite a few times, which that's pretty hard to do. Like, I I play so many horror games that actually making me like Ugh, is pretty hard to do. So good job. Uh, yeah. If you want to check it out yourself, links in the description. Um, yeah, I think it's it. Thank you so much for watching. This was a lot of fun. And thank you again for the key, for the dev. Um, yeah, cool. Leave a like, it really helps. If any recommendations for games to cover, please leave a comment. And I will see y'all next time.